Hello everyone and welcome back to Python with PictureBlock series. In the previous video, we explored PictureBlock's machine learning environment and also exported a model to do image classification. In this video, we are going to take a look at the REPL mode, which is similar to shell mode in Python IDE. To understand this concept, we will take a task and code it ourselves. Let's try the concepts of data frames. If you have tried data handling in Python, you are already familiar with data frames. They are widely used in machine learning. You can think of them as tables with the ability to hold a variety of data. Creating data frames from scratch might seem challenging for programmers. Well, let's use the REPL mode to understand their syntax. And then you will see just how straightforward it is. To understand REPL, let's do a small activity. First things first, let's go to the PictureBlocks Python environment. This time, however, instead of interacting with the scripting area and the stage, we are going to interact with the terminal. So let's go ahead and expand it. Now let's click on the REPL mode button. This icon shows it's running continuously. Now we can start writing our code. Let's import the pandas library and give it the alias pd. Pandas is instrumental while working with data. Now, let us define a data frame. The data in data frames are usually passed as dictionaries. So, let's start off with the curly bracket. Wait! Don't input the value just yet. Press enter and see what happens. Notice how no error is thrown out. Instead, three dots are shown up on your screen. The three dots indicate that your code isn't complete or that you can add more parameters or lines. This is how REPL mode helps the programmers to understand syntax. Now, let's go on and pass our dictionaries into two separate lines. You will notice that as soon as you press enter, after completing your code, arrows appear on the screen instead of dots. We can quickly view our dataset by using the tf.head function. Now in case you want to loop through a particular column, the procedure is again quite straightforward. Simply initialize a for loop going through a column. Make sure you press tab to indent the code under the for loop. And there's the data frame. See? Not too complicated. So, that was a quick introduction of REPL mode. The takeaway from this video is that the REPL mode is here to help you out with any confusion that you might have with the syntax of your code. In the next video, we are going to learn about the file management system in Python environment. Thanks a lot for watching. Please like and share this video. And if you haven't, do subscribe to our channel. I'll see you guys soon. Bye.